How to install your Switch 3 kit. There are only three steps needed to complete your assembly. First, flip your bike upside down. Step 1. Replace your original wheel with the Switch 3 wheel. Using the tools included, you will need to loosen your front brake calipers, then remove the wheel and replace it with the Switch 3 wheel. Important! Make sure the groove opening is facing towards the steering wheel. Failure to do so will not allow your wheel to work properly and may cause damage. Pause this video to assure the order of the washers is correct. Remove the dust cover and tighten the nuts. Then place your dust cover back on. If there is contact between the forks and the motor, then add a washer for extra spacing. Step 2. Mount the controller box and battery. You'll need to remove your kickstand if it's located as shown. Take the controller box and route the cable through this opening. Secure the controller box in place. To add your battery, you first need to attach the clamps under your seat rails. Put the small clamp on top of the rail and tighten the bolts. Clamp in your battery and secure the strap. Step 3. Connect the cables. Align the arrows and insert the cable with the two pins into the battery cable. Then take the other cable and connect it to the front wheel motor. Do the following only if you are using the throttle cable instead of the wireless LCD display. Remove either the left or right handlebar grip. Insert the throttle cable, slide the grips back in, and tighten the throttle. Make sure the thumb throttle moves freely. Take the end of the throttle cable and connect it into the controller box cable. Make sure to align the arrows. Do the following only if you are using the LCD wireless display instead of the throttle cable. Remove the grips, slide in the LCD wireless display, and insert the grips back on. Tighten the LCD display from the back side. Make sure your throttle moves freely. If you prefer not to remove the accessories like grips, shifter, and brake lever from your handlebar, then use this extension to attach your LCD wireless display on. Tighten the bolts. Then place your LCD display and tighten it. Use the included zip ties to hold the two cables in place. Make sure to keep your shifter cables clear without contact. Simply remove your battery to charge it anywhere or charge it on the bike. Turn on your kit by pressing the on and off button located underneath the battery bag. Press the same button to turn off your kit when not in use in order to prevent battery drainage. Make sure you also read the printed installation guide for more detailed installation instructions. Congratulations, you're done. Now it's time to go out and enjoy your new eSwitchy kit. eSwitchy, just switch it up.